Dear friends, in the New Testament, Jesus was accused that he was conspiring with Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons. And small pronunciation excursus here. In American English, it's, I was told, often pronounced Beelzebul. But both Greek and Hebrew has either Beelzebul or Baalzebul. Now, in the New Testament, Jesus was then accused that he was in complot with this demonic power. And we all know that Jesus had tense relationship with religious authorities of his time. No surprise there. What is really interesting in this instance is the name of this alleged demonic ally. In the New Testament, he is called Baalzebul, while in the Hebrew Bible, it is always Baalzebub. Hebrew version of the name can be translated as Baal or Lord of the flies or some unpleasant insects. It is further confirmed in the Septuagint, an ancient Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, which translates Baal of the flies. So why does the New Testament has only Baal Zebul? Translation and explanation is not straightforward for this name. Over decades, many different translations were offered. Firstly, the Lord of the Lofty House, or the Lord of the Flame, or finally the Lord of the Illness or Affliction. Interestingly, in the middle of the 20th century, as the cuneiform text from Ugarit, a late Bronze Age city in Syria, as those cuneiform texts on clay tablets were translated and better understood. There were many surprises, but also scholars noticed that the word Zabala, the root, or Zabul, was used with a number of names and sometimes even divine names, and perhaps best translated as a royal title. Prince, the Elevated One, His Highness. And to go before and after divine names, like Baal Zebul, then it would be Baal, the Prince. So it was confirmed from these cuneiform texts that Hebrew Bible's Baal Zebul was actually an intentional misspelling or misinterpretation to denigrate, to slander this foreign god. We know that biblical scribes did that, especially to the god Baal, replacing his name occasionally with Boshet, shame, or something shameful. In this case, they replaced the royal title with the unpleasant insects. From Baal, the prince, was then the lord of the flies. But in Ugarit was also another name or title, Zabul Baalu Aretz, which can be translated as Prince, Lord of the Underworld, or Netherworld. And there were several, unfortunately badly broken, tablets with incantations, which invoked Prince, Lord of the Underworld, asking to drive out illness or drive out demons. And that makes sense. Underworld deities were often believed to possess these curative powers. They were able to help in case of illness. So the New Testament divine name, rather than the one from Hebrew Bible, was closer to the original context. And even the accusations of healing with the help of Beelzebul, the lord of the demons, better fits the ancient context. And that is something you might not know about the Bible. 
And on this Sunday, you can join us in worship. We will certainly mention the dark forces instigating the civil strife. But we will go further and rejoice in truly healing, life-giving realm of our Prince of Peace.